Morning, Stephanie. Why is Nancy's stepdaughter out there? Oh, the associate producer quit and took Debbie with him. Yeah, again, why is Nancy's stepdaughter out there? Oh, because she slept with Jackie and he promised her a job in television. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. That's typical. He gets lucky and we get a new receptionist. It's a good thing you don't hire that way, Jerry. We'd have a new girl out there every five or six years. <laughs> now, the first order of business is to get ourselves a new associate producer, and mm -hmm. I'm right on top of it. The first resume is in already. Ah! This is yours. I really want this job, Jerry, mm -hmm. and I know that Jackie will approve it if you do. Hey, you, uh, want me to leave the room while you interview her? <laughs> that, won't, that won't be necessary, Bobby. Look, Laura, you know, I I'll think about it, all right? I will think about it. <laughs> Guess what? You slept with her, too. <laughs> no. The movie I wrote starts filming next week! Hey! Very cool. <laughs> you wrote a movie? Yeah, it's based on a play I wrote in college, Throwing Stones at the Moon, kind of a, an autobiographical thing. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's just great. You know, most people have to write five or six screenplays before they sell one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've written a few, haven't you, Jerry? Yeah, 12. <laughs> How many do you sell? Some people write for the love of writing, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, that's OK, Jerry. I haven't sold any either. <laughs> what a week. I can't believe the timing of this. My filming starts, and my father's coming in from Chicago for a conference. Oh, and Jerry, the director wants me to be on the set to do the rewrites, if that's OK with you? Well, I don't mind, but you better not let Jackie find out. You know how he hates moonlighters. Oh, that reminds me, Grant. Jackie wants to see you as soon as you get in. Did he say what he wanted? Yeah, but there's some things I just won't do. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Buddy, come on in. Uh, you sure I'm not bothering you? I could... Hell no, man. Have a seat. You know, it's that big toe that's the trouble. <laughs> you gotta dig in there, but you don't want to turn that corner. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sorry, man. <laughs> you, uh... You wanted to see me? Yeah, man, you wrote one hell of a movie script here, you know. Writing for black characters is hard, but you really got it down. <laughs> well, uh, thanks. <laughs> How'd you get a copy? Hey, if you don't want people to see your stuff, Grand, don't leave it just lying around locked up in your desk. <laughs> I'll make a note. All right, confession time. You based the guidance counselor character on me, didn't you? Well, no, actually, I based him on my high school guidance counselor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get a cracker, man. <laughs> this is how I talk. Straight shooting, fair, but tough when I gotta be. That's me. Uh, now, Jackie, <laughs> he's black. Not anymore, man. I got the part. <laughs> We're gonna be working together, buddy. <laughs> I, uh... I thought they had Lou Gossett Jr. locked for that part. They did, but, you know, I pulled some strings, stepped on some toes, kicked some butt, shaved some heads. I love this business. <laughs> of course, you're going to have to beef up my part, you know, joke it up a little bit. Uh, Jackie, you know, it's, it's not really a funny movie. <laughs> uh, don't be so hard on yourself, kid. You know, uh, every script could use a little punching up. I'll, I'll take a pass at it if you like. No, no. <laughs> I'll, uh... I'll, I'll joke it up for you. All right, great. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I want to get the girl in the end. My old girlfriend, Jackie, she's a high school sophomore. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Better make her a junior.
Junior. <laughs> worse not selling a screenplay or having it screwed up not selling a screenplay <laughs> what's your movie about anyway grant it's about the son of a domineering college professor who rebels and falls in with the wrong crowd <laughs> oh come on grant i just can't picture you as a troublemaker what'd you do take your sats with a number three pencil <laughs> no i broke into the computer system at my dad's college i took some tests and Sold them to the students. Actually, I made about $10,000. I want in. <laughs> if it hadn't been for my black high school guidance counselor, I'd probably be in prison. Grant? Dad! Hey, Dad, you made it! Yes. Hey, everybody, this is my dad. This is Professor Clifford Watson. This is Jerry. Jerry. Hi. This is Nancy. This is... How do you do? Bobby. Hi. Nice sit down, sit down, sit down. So you must be very proud of Grant getting a screenplay sold at his age. Interesting diversion, but uh, hardly challenges his capabilities. Yeah, but uh, hey, he's pulling down some pretty good dough, huh? <laughs> there aren't many things Grant won't do for money. Uh, hey, Dad, do you think uh, you'll be able to get by the set and watch the filming? Doubtful. But Dad, guess who's going to be playing you in the movie? Sidney Poitier. Hey. Yeah, cool. I see. He's not that jello salesman, is he? <laughs> no, he's, uh, he's one of the finest black actors in America. <laughs> yeah, everybody moved up one when Red Fox died. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you guys have a lot of catching up to do. Let's, let's get back to the office. We got some work to do ourselves. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. Where Grant got a sense of humor. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> what do you think your father would say if he knew that you were selling stolen tests? He's too busy teaching other kids to care what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a cynical attitude. You're wasting your whole life, Grant. All you're doing is throwing stones at the moon. And cut! What the hell is that supposed to mean anyway? I want it out. Jackie, my brother, it's a metaphor. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Jackie, can we discuss this, my brother? Let's, let's just discuss it. My brother. Jackie's doing a really nice job. He's a natural. It's like he's not even acting at all. There's a very good reason for that. <laughs> well, finally, he has material worthy of his talent, unlike the tripe he does on TV. Hey, wait a minute. Jerry Harper here happens to be Jackie's head writer, and we're his... He's friends. <laughs> I also did uh, two years on Taxi and Cheers. That's nice. Grant? Jackie, <laughs> some interesting changes for the next uh, scene. Uh, changes? Mm -hmm. I also did two years on Barney Miller. <laughs> it's a door. Jackie thinks the scene could use a little more humor. Uh, but that's the scene where my girlfriend tells me she could never love a criminal. Everything hinges on that scene. Yeah, that's gone. Now, she'll say that to Jackie when they're in bed. <laughs> You're telling me that the only two people I trust in the world, my girlfriend and my counselor, are going to sleep together. I think Jack would do a really nice job with it. Now, he's been rehearsing with the actress all morning. It's me. Got problems, Grant? Hello. My movie's in the toilet. Do me a favor. Flush it. Hey, what brings you guys down here? Your memo, the one that said we'd be fired if we didn't come. Thank you, man. I'm touched. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, Jerry, they're beefing my part up in the movie, so you're gonna have to write me out the next three shows. What? Wait, no! wait, 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 you can't drop out of the show mid-season. What, what am I supposed to do, say that you, uh, you, you went to a, a meat convention? That's great, man, I love it. I'll drive it. <laughs> Jackie, wait a minute. Jerry, don't sweat it, man, it's just a TV show. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, let's go back to the office. We've got a lot of work to do. Come on, Jerry, it's almost noon, the day's shot. Let's regroup tomorrow about, what, noon? If I've got to work? You've got to work. Come on. Oh. Bad news. Guess who's not coming to dinner? Mr. Portier has a scheduling conflict. We're gonna have to shut down until we find a replacement. No. Jerry. Yeah. 
I know that you're very busy with Jackie and the movie and everything, but you've had 32 hours to think about making me the associate producer. Now, you know that I'm qualified for the job, but if you want to give it to me because you feel sorry for me, that's okay, too. Sit down, Laura. <laughs> Look, you, you, you're the best assistant that I've ever had. You know, that is just such a lousy thing to say. What? I have always been somebody's assistant. Now I want to be somebody's associate. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Now, last week you wanted to be a writer, and now you want to be a producer. It's not even a very creative job. Well, I know that, and eventually I do want to be a writer. But right now I need to earn some more money. I'm supporting a pro bowler with a 185 average. <laughs> but I need you to run the room and laugh at my jokes. <laughs> Sherry, come on. Just think about it. I could be so much more help to you as an associate producer. I, yeah. I, I could, uh, I could uh, deal with the actors. I could handle the production problems. And you know I'm the best Jackie Wrangler on the set. Now, come on. I'll still laugh at your jokes. All right. Oh, OK, but for one week. Oh, All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, who do I call if someone accidentally pours coffee in the fax machine? <laughs> that would be the new associate producer. All right, here's my idea for my next movie. It's gonna be called Karate Rock. <laughs> <laughs> In it, I play a guy that beats up a whole bunch of bad guys. Poof. Then, I sing a bunch of hit songs. Poof. Poof. Then I sleep with a whole bunch of co-eds. The twist is, at the end, I become a priest. Which leaves you wide open for Karate Rock 2. I don't know, Jackie. It seems like everyone's doing that now. Yo! Stephanie said you wanted <laughs> You want to see me? Yeah, uh, good news, Grant. We, we found a new lead for the show. What? And the backers in the studio are very happy with him. <laughs> we, we resume filming tomorrow. Oh, great. So, so who, who's going to play my dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, son. I just love raisins and cereal. I'm afraid you don't. If I say I like raisins, I do. No, I really don't think so. Yeah, well, what do you call this, pal? Not this. Kellogg's Raisin Bran? Hey, if you really loved raisins, you'd be eating Kellogg's Raisin Bran. So, you really think you got something here, eh, buddy? Two scoops of our sweetest, plumpest, juiciest raisins. Mmm, what was I thinking? Kellogg's Raisin Bran. If you love raisins, this is your cereal. Mmm, now on there's two scoops, they eh, do. <laughs> Seems that some boys just don't know how to play nice. So you wanna play tough? Introducing the bold new Ford Ranger. You say you wanna play me? With its new look, Ranger's changing the rules. The stance is wider, and with push-button four-wheel drive, and a new body full of curves. Guess we're just not playing fair. When your sinus and nasal congestion feels this bad, what will bring you relief? If you think it's prescription strength medicine, you're absolutely right. Now, Tavis D in its full prescription strength is available without a prescription. Just one tablet helps relieve 12 hours worth of painful congestion and sneezing. That's absolutely right. Tavis D. One tablet, 12 hours, and now no prescription. Ten million people have switched to AT&T in the last two years. And thousands more switch every day. Switch now to AT&T for competitive prices and unsurpassed quality. It's easy to be with the best. Call 1-800-742-3555. Thursday, a murder puts Matlock. I've been called for jury duty. In an unfamiliar position. Who better than Ben Matlock understands the meaning of reasonable doubt? They should have never put a lawyer on the jury. All those in favor of voting not guilty? One man stands alone. Matlock, Thursday. 
Will your marriage last? Find out Friday. This doctor says he can predict whether or not you'll stay together. Learn how. What we're able to do with all this equipment is to see the early warning signs. On 2020, Friday. Jackie, how can you play my father? Did I forget to mention, he's black. <laughs> hey, you ever hear of a little show called Green Acres? You remember Mr. Haney? He was a Jew. It's called acting, pal. <laughs> Oh, this, this is unbelievable. I knew you'd love it, buddy. You know, this way we get the whole interracial thing going, you know? The old black family's been done to death. But an interracial angle obscures the whole point of the story. Yeah, I know. You better work on that. <laughs> and since it's your life, Grant, we want you to be the one who rewrites it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, don't buddy, know. it'll be easy. You just take some of the counselor's jokes, you give them to the dad, man. They're all interchangeable anyhow. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Bill. Uh, the editor says that if we put together an episode of highlights from past shows, we'll have about seven minutes. That's, that's seven more than I would have thought. However, we do have four and a half hours of bloopers. Oh. Jerry, is it true you're writing Jackie out of some shows? Yeah, he got an even bigger part in Grant's movie. Can't do that, Jerry. The show sucks without him. <laughs> She's right, Jerry. Look, every time we do a scene without him, I can tell the audience just wants to kill us. We cannot do a whole show without him. So I was thinking, actually, you know, a lot of butchers take their wives to these meat conventions. No, it's a fact. So could you just write me out, too? Hey, I'm the one who's supposed to be taking over the butcher shop someday. I think I should go to the convention. That's my idea, you little pissant. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay, okay. This looks like another problem for the new associate producer. Laura? Okay, guys, come on. I'll buy a cup of coffee. I think there's still some left in the fax machine. For me, don't you know? He said, I couldn't help but notice you got some pussy willow plants up there. Farmer says, hey, I think I'll get my hat and come with you. <laughs> Listen, now how come I got to be a professor in this movie, you know? I was thinking it'd be really cool if I was a scientist and I invented time travel. That way I could go back in time and stop Grant before he gets in trouble. Uh, Jackie, it's been done. That's what you said about my last five ideas. <laughs> Grant? Dad, this is... This is a, a nice surprise. Uh, thanks for coming. To be perfectly honest, I spoke with your mother this morning, and she said I can't come home unless I get Sidney Poitier's autograph. <laughs> well, where is he? Well, uh, Dad, uh, uh, about that. Hey, Grant, I got a great idea on how to juice up the script. Now, I want you to put a time machine in it, and don't tell the producer, because I'm going behind his back on this deal. <laughs> Jackie Thomas, I'd like you to meet my father, Professor Clifford Watson, Jackie Thomas. Wow, well, good to meet you, buddy. This is so weird, you know? It's like looking at a mirror. <laughs> or, or a negative or something. <clears throat> Grant, I don't understand. Hey, I'm playing you in the movie, man. Isn't it great? Let me ask you something. What, what kind of beer do you drink? This is playing me. Sidney Poitier had to drop out. And this is the second best black actor in America? Thanks. <laughs> Grant, it isn't bad enough that you publicly admitted past indiscretions with this play of yours, but now you have gone and... What are you doing? I'm doing you, man. It's a method acting thing. <laughs> Would you please excuse us, Mr. Uh, Thomas? Would you please excuse us, Mr. Uh, Thomas? <laughs> I think I got it. See ya. Dad, I know you're disappointed. I'm disappointed too, but I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation. And this is what you chose of the graduate school? Yes, yes it is. This is the real world. It's not some, some ivory tower back in Chicago. Hollywood is the real world? Hey, guys, what do you think of my tie? <laughs> See you, Dad. Dad. Hey, you're gonna love my neon suspenders. <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Laura. Congratulations on your promotion. Oh, thanks, Jackie. <laughs> Hope you use protection, man. She's a good kid. <laughs> Jackie, weren't you supposed to be shooting your movie tonight? Yeah, we had to shut down for a couple days till I find a new producer. Oh. Had to force the old one out because he fought me every step of the way. Oh, how's Grant taking it? He's out, too. <laughs> you, you fired him off his own movie? Yeah, now I gotta hire a pro to come in and kind of rewrite the script. And, Jerry, mm -hmm. I was wondering no, if you... No, Jackie. Jackie, Grant is a friend of mine, and I know how much this means to him. I would never do that. <laughs> Get over yourself, Harper. You're just a TV <laughs> writer, man. I was just wondering if you knew the name of the guy that wrote Porky's. <laughs> no. Figures. Hey, listen, I want to talk to you about the big screen TV in my dressing room. You don't have one. Bingo. <laughs> Where is he? Where's Thomas? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm this, down, calm down, calm this down. This was supposed to be the greatest moment of my life, and Jackie has turned it into a nightmare. And I'm going to kill him. No, oh, killing him won't accomplish anything. Except maybe it'll help the morale around here skyrocket. Oh, yeah. that, big, that big dope. I want you to put in a time machine, buddy. And when the movie's over, I get to keep it. Well, <laughs> oh, listen, the screenplays get rewritten a lot. All right, I, I take that back. They usually don't get completely mauled. This, this was the story of my life. Well, you can still sell it again. Nobody will recognize it. Just change the title. <laughs> what the hell did throwing stones at the moon mean, anyway? Who knows? Well, I, I know you're disappointed, but, you know, to survive in this town, you got to have a sense of humor. How do you get by, Jerry? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I know you're right. Yeah. Just tell me one thing. What? Why is Jackie such an idiot? I don't know. There's three guys inside that Jackie suit, and nobody's working the head. Hey, Dad. Glad I caught you before you had to leave. I spoke with your mother again. She sends her regards. <laughs> How is Mom? She's black. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you didn't change that. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's out of my hands. Jackie threw me off my own show today. I'm not surprised. I once taught a seminar called Hollywood and the Lowest Common Denominator. I never dreamed I'd meet the man face to face. <laughs> hey, Dan, I hear you. You hate Hollywood. You hate anything that has to do with show business. I didn't hate your play. You didn't? I wish you'd stuck to playwriting. You could have written the next Amen Corner and not the next Amen. <laughs> well, Dan, I am not James Baldwin. Obviously. He wrote for art, you write for money. I want to do both. How did that work out for you this week? Look, Dad. I don't want to be a starving poet living in a hovel somewhere. Actually, I do live in kind of a hovel. It has a pool, though. Grant, I'm not asking you to take a vow of poverty. I just don't like seeing you wasting a God-given gift. Well, I'd rather write for millions than hundreds. Dollars or people? Both. Well, I said all I have to say. I've got to catch a plane. I guess this is where I say I wish you well. I guess this is where I say nice seeing you, Dad. Your dad's quite a talker. Was he disappointed in you, too? He kept bragging about what a great writer you are. He's very proud of you. My dad? The man sitting here, big guy, bow tie? What else did he say? He said that you make a lot of money and you'd pick up his tab.
wife will kick your butt. All over the world, if we promise it works like Young Skin's fluid for a young radiance... Lo farà sempre. Give you and give you. Kill a man. It has to. Oil of Olay. We keep our promise to Young Skin. A doggone great experience for your whole family is about to disappear. Disney's classic tale, 101 Dalmatians on video. Share this all-time favorite with your family. But hurry, after April, Disney will no longer be selling 101 Dalmatians. Buy now while supplies last. I hate to clean. That's why I love this fantastic. Did you see it? It cuts through grease without leaving the film. So when I have company coming, I have time to do the really important things, like wipe the lipstick off the milk container. Fantastic. So clean, it squeaks. You can't hang on to old victories, or you'll never do better. This stuff is not the old way. It gives me soft, manageable hair without a lot of fuss. Pert Plus. Great hair. No fuss. Monday, a group of strangers, a military flight, then tragedy struck, and survival began. With no food, they had to stay alive. Don't move. Don't. Based on a true story, Richard Chamberlain, Ordeal in the Arctic, Monday. Welcome back to E.C. I'm John Tesh. And I'm Lisa Gibbons. In our movie briefs, Throwing Stones at the Moon was pulled from theaters this week after an abysmal opening weekend. The film marked the movie debut of TV's Jackie Thomas as the time-traveling singing kickboxer who has an affair with his son's girlfriend. Insiders blame the convoluted script by first-time screenwriter Grant Watson for the movie's early plunge. Youch! Definitely one for the video shelf. But while the picture fizzled, Jackie Thomas sizzled. Reviewers are unanimous in praising his performance, and we'll have more on him tomorrow night in part two of our series on talented newcomers hitting the big screen. Yes, he is one of five we've targeted for success. In other news now... 